Hello, everyone. You may know Fortinet from the award-winning FortiGate Next Generation Firewall. That's because the FortiGate is the flagship product, but Fortinet's vision and execution has even more to offer. With products ranging from secure networking, cloud security, ZTNA, and security operations, they are collectively integrated to power Fortinet's security fabric. Fortinet has been and continues to be a trailblazer in security-driven networking, convergence, and consolidation. Not only has this been done while leading the industry in energy efficiency, but also performance at the same time, according to Gartner. To tie everything together, all products share and contribute to FortiGuard's ML and AI-powered real-time threat intelligence. Today, we'll focus on the Forti Extender product, which is part of the secure networking portfolio pillar. The Forti Extender is a 4G, LTE, and 5G cellular WAN gateway that can operate on its own or seamlessly integrate with the FortiGate. This model is the 511F, which is capable of 5G. We'll be using this Forti Extender in the demo later. All Forti Extenders are dual SIM devices, which means they can house two SIM cards from two different cellular carriers. This gives the Forti Extender the ability to fail over from the active SIM to the standby. Fortinet calls this feature SIM Switch. So why would you want to configure SIM Switch? Well, for cellular data plans, there are data caps or data limits. If you hit this limit, your service may be interrupted until the next billing cycle starts. Or if you go over those data caps, the cellular carrier will be happy to charge you a hefty overage fee. So when the data limit is reached, SIM switch will perform a failover from the primary SIM to the secondary SIM and save you from all those troubles. For this demo, I'll be showing you three things. First is Extender Manager, which is a module within Forti Manager. Second, we'll walk through the profiles needed to configure SIM switch. And lastly, we'll see what happens when the data plan has reached its capacity. This is Fortinet Manager. It's a single pane of glass management platform for Fortinet products. Within Fortinet Manager, there are different modules where you can manage and configure different things. The Extender Manager is where all the Forti extenders are centrally managed. Now we're going to create the profiles needed. First up are the two data plan profiles. We're going to create one for each SIM card. All of these fields are actually optional. The extender can get this information from the SIM card directly. I am configuring them here to show how the data plan applies to the SIM switch configuration. This data plan is for the carrier T-Mobile. The ICC ID is the identification number of the SIM card. The APN, or access point name, is what allows you to establish a connection to the carrier's gateway. For the purposes of this demo, I'm using an artificially low limit for the monthly data plan. That's so that we can trigger the SIM switch. Now I'll create the data plan profile for the second SIM card, which is on the carrier AT&T's network. I'll configure it exactly like I did here. Next, we're going to create the 40 extender profile. I'm going to name it 511F SIM switch. And this is where we actually bind the data plans to the extender profile. This 40 extender profile is where we configure the criteria for SIM switch. You can see that there are three options. First, by disconnecting. By default, if you are disconnected from your provider three times within 10 minutes, it will trigger a SIM switch. The second is by signal. If the signal is too weak, measured by RSSI, a SIM switch will occur. And lastly, by data plan. If the data plan's capacity is reached, the 40 extender will switch over to the secondary SIM. We talked about this earlier when we mentioned data caps. This is what we'll use to simulate a SIM switch here shortly. OK, so now we need to assign that Fortix Center profile 511F SIM switch to our Forti extender. 
the install wizard is how that profile actually gets pushed onto the device. Okay, so we have our 40 extender profile with SIM switch configured. Here is the network diagram for my test bed. It's a very simple network with a host connected to a 40 gate, which is then connected to a 40 extender providing the WAN cellular service. Okay, I jumped ahead. I did generate traffic from the end host and I logged in directly onto the Ford extender. This is the Ford extender GUI. Here you can see that we are approaching the data cap. Um, we're at 99% and we are on the T-Mobile plan for SIM1. I wanna take this time to talk about what is technically involved when the SIM switch occurs. The SIM switch can take some time. The reason being is because when the SIM switch occurs, the modem needs to reinitialize and install the firmware for the standby SIM card's specific carrier. On top of that, it then needs to find and establish a connection to that carrier. How long the SIM switch takes varies, and it also depends on how strong the cellular signal is. This holds true for any vendor that offers a dual SIM single modem device across the industry. The SIM switch has happened. Now we are on SIM 2. You can see here that it's active and the usage is slowly increasing. The current plan has changed from T-Mobile to AT&T. Let's take a look at the logs to verify that the SIM switch took place. You can see that SIM1, um, it shows that it has reached the capacity. And then the SIM switch occurs. And again, it says T-Mobile data has been used up. Let's also look when SIM2 takes over and establishes connectivity. You can see here that it says SIM in slot two uh, is connected to AT&T. And that confirms the SIM switch. With that, we just avoided those hefty overage fees from the carrier. Before I wrap up, I wanna go back and talk about the profiles. The profiles we created are essentially templates. You saw that in Fortnite Manager, we created a template for the SIM switch and how quick and simple it was. That template could be installed on say 10, 20, 50, or more Ford extenders at once, which would save you a lot of time. Imagine instead if you had to configure each of those 40 extenders individually, one at a time, and how long that would take. This is where Ford Manager shines, and we only saw a fraction of what it could do. Okay, that concludes the presentation. I hope you have found it informative, and thank you for watching.